Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I'm going to be talking about why I'm taking a break from the internet, why I think you should be taking a break from the internet, giving some good, concrete, solid reasons. I'm also going to go on a little rant about a four-letter word I've been sent in DMs a lot recently. And uh, if this is your first time to the channel, three times a week we put out videos. Two of them are beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them is uncut. All right, right before we talk about why I'm taking a break from the internet, I wanted to open up a few things for you guys that have sent things out. I always open up stuff that we get sent to the channel right here on camera because uh, just to show some support back for the support I'm being sent and I, I think that it's fun. I think you guys l would like to see, I mean, if you sent somebody something that has a YouTube channel, wouldn't you want to see it opened up on their channel? Wouldn't you? I would. Man, McGuigan Morphs sent all, we got magnets. We got all kinds of stuff in here. These guys were actually on a live stream with me the other night, the Breeders Roundtable, and super cool guys. And I love the Irish theme, and the mcguigan out there on the East Coast. Thanks guys for the stickers, these are awesome. They're beautiful. I love the green and red combo. I mean, I think it looks nice. I think it looks fabulous. Thanks again, guys. And then we got another package from Belgium my buddy Francois over at Adopt a Ball. Actually, Francois is part of this, uh, is a Herper merch. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. There's these different, it's a group of people like Brittany Gobble, um, Ozzy, uh, Bob Vu, uh, Pythons of the North, of course, is the one that instigated it up in Canada. And there's a whole crew of people that have merch on this one located site. And there's some fun, some fun things there. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys go find it. And there you go. Thanks, thanks, man. So I need to get out to Belgium. It's long overdue. My sister lives out there, and I I need to get out there at some point. So when I do, hit you up. All right, let's move along. We got a lot to talk about, and ah, more from the East Coast, New York. Got drop time drop time is that miss they say drop time i think it means to say drop line i'm guessing that's a drop line not drop time eric gonzalez oh nice yay let's take a look at this thing oh i like the color i don't have any shirts this color i'm gonna have to rock that no it is drop time drop time Oh, because of the, because of the, I get it now. Dropping the antlers, that's what it is, eh? Drop time reptiles, there we go. All right, one more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's time to sharpen the knife, I get it, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, no, it's just the bag, it's just the bag. The bag was resisting. Check this out. High Desert Pythons. We got Magnus. We got stickers. People are up in their game on this stuff. With the Magnus and stickers. I don't, I don't have any magnets. I'm slacking over here. Not really, but in some ways. In some ways slacking, in some ways absolutely not. Mmm. High Desert Pythons. Antoine Hood. Antoine is going to Arlington. I'm going to Arlington. Officially. I've got my tickets. I'm going. Arlington Reptile Show. NARBC. April 24th and 25th, we're gonna be there. We're gonna have a whole bunch of co Cocoa Blocks, Cocoa Cocoa Blocks, Cocoa Blocks. <laughs> and we're gonna be there. So if you guys are going to Arlington, I'll see you there. Bros, girls, sisses, guys, girls, gals. Okay, so why I'm taking a break from the internet. Most of the work that I do is online. The majority of it. I mean, I, I, I take care of the animals here. I do plenty of physical stuff work-wise as well, but most of the work that is work, that is work, that is work, is through online, it's through social media, and so I think it's very important that I take a break, and I, and I try to do it as often as possible, and I think that you guys should too, because it's, especially after this whole, uh, the whole pandemicness of the world and the need to do less out, going things and stay in. I feel like a ton of people are just like stuck 
internet land, phone land, social media land, swipe and swipe and swipe and so much less outdoors, which is very, very important for a well-balanced life. Go outside, do things. And, and I, I'm sure there's plenty of you that are, that are good here on the channel, but it's just there is definitely an increase in screen time across civilization, like huge uptick. And ultimately, it's unhealthy. We need to be getting out more, doing things outside, not spending as much time on the internet. Here's another way you can, you can take a break from the internet. I did it just today. I needed to do some cable management upstairs, a little a bunch of cables coming down off the, the, uh, the big monitor I edit on now up there and, and just looking like a mess. So I just needed to get a little cable management system, you know, they all enclose it all along the wall so it looks all nice and neat and not like somebody's trying to kill Medusa. And so instead of ordering what I could have easily done on Amazon, just sit there on the phone, swipe, 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 Amazon, find that little thing, have it sent right to the house. I walked to my local hardware store, picked up the item there in person, slung it over my shoulder and walked all the way back. It's about five miles or so round trip, maybe a little further than some of you have time to do in a given day, but I start my days at the sunrise and I end my days just before the sunrise is coming up. So I've got, I create time for those types of things. And I think you should too, it's important. It's very important that you do things like that on a regular basis. Just sit back and reflect here in reality instead of experiencing everything through a screen all the time, or at least as much as you may. It's good for you. Do it. I'm, that is the point of this video, is to encourage you to do that, to do just that. Okay. Um, the four-letter word that I've been getting so much recently in DMs is can't. Can't. Yeah, it's a contraction, but it's a four-letter word nonetheless. And it's really the only four-letter word that's a bad word around this household. If you say you can't, you can, I don't care what four-letter words you spout out right here. Like, you're not going to get in near much trouble as if you tell me you can't. I can't. I can't. I can't believe I just said it that many times. Can't believe it. Can't, can't, can't. That's so many can'ts. It's just... It... If you say you can't, if you think you can't, you're right. You know, you just, you are, you're right about that. That's why you gotta, you gotta change, get away from saying that you can't. And here's a couple options. Here's a simple option. And this is what's more reality because you can. The truth is you can, whatever it is you think you can't do, you're wrong. You are wrong. Unless you get it into your head that you can't and then you, you'll manifest your own destiny. You'll, you'll create your own reality of you can't. And that's not good. That's not good for your life. You want to be able to do things. If there's things you think that you can't do, I'd like to say that you're wrong and you can. Instead of saying I can't, how about this? I won't because it's too hard. A lot of things worth doing are very hard and difficult to accomplish. So instead of saying that four letter word, which I'm not going to repeat at all ever again for the rest of this video and going forward with the rest of my day and the days going forward, I won't because it's hard or, and I don't feel like working that hard. That at least sets you in a place where, wait a minute, I just, I can, I just won't because it's too hard. I bust my ass around here. You may, you may not see it that much, but I generally put in 16 to 18 hours a day. Now, do I take a small break to kiss my kids? Do I take, yes, that, but that's, that's part of my day as well. I, do, I, do I step away? Do I stop and smell the roses? Let the breeze blow across my face for a moment? Absolutely. Maintaining 16 to 18 hour days are impossible without doing something like that. It's not healthy. I'm able to do a lot of the things that I love to do. Most of what I do are things that I love to do, constantly. And that's why I get messages from people with that horrible word, saying, oh, you get to do that, you get, I, I bust my ass so I can do the things that I get to do. And it's hard work. Because I know I can. And I know that if I don't, it's just because I chose not to. 
put in that hard work to get to the place that I wanted to be, to do the things that I want to do, that I can do with that amount of work. Let's take it to an extreme example, super extreme example. Somebody in a wheelchair. You can walk. I've seen enough videos of people putting in what is very, very hard work to get from that point back up on their feet. People whose doctors say, you'll never walk again. How many times have you guys seen stories like that? I, see, I feel like I see them often. People who were told by doctors they can never walk again, and yet, there they are, running down the road. Because you can. You can. Is, is that example a little insensitive? Maybe. But the point is, it's easy to say that four-letter word. Easy. But wouldn't your life be more rewarding? Wouldn't every moment be more, more fulfilled if instead of that you said, well, maybe I can. It's, it might be hard. I might have to do some things that I don't want to do to get to the things I can do, but you can. And you will.